Welcome to the Puzzle of the Week series. I am Łukasz and today we'll be uppercasing the array of chars. Today we'll start with the question. Which input will break the following test? It appears that input with sharpen S will break our code. So if we run the test, we'll see that it causes index out of bound exception. And if we rerun it in debug mode, we'll see that sharpen S was, was replaced into the two S letters, which increased length of uppercased array. And this is source of our problem. Okay, as usually, to understand what is wrong with uppercase method, let's go to its Java doc and its parameterized version with local. We can read here following sentence. Case mapping is based on the Unicode standard versions specified by the character class. Since case mappings are not always one-to-one -one char mappings, the resulting string may be a different length than the original string. Also here we have an example with sharpen S specified. Okay, so we have idea how to fix our test. Uh, so basically we cannot rely on the initial input size. So let's change it and rerun the test. As you can see, this time test passed. Please note that uh, to lower case may also affect to the length of a string. Let's consider a given example in Lithuanian locals. As you can see here before transformation, the length of a string is one and after transformation, it becomes three. This puzzle serves a reminder that string operations such as uppercasing and lowercasing are influenced by local specific rules. Furthermore, such transformations can alter the length of the initial string. As a result, it is important to be prepared to handle these cases correctly. That's all for today. See you in the next episode.